Hi, everyone. Checking in from 8,500 feet over... Northern over Iowa. There. Yeah, northeastern Iowa. So we tried something a little bit new this trip. I recently just activated a Sirius XM weather package. Uh, I got the Pilot Express, the cheapest one they've got, um, at $30 a month. The next one up costs $60 a month, and it really only adds three or four things that I don't think I would particularly use, and I don't know that the, the G3X can even display those things. But I know one of the big questions is, you know, well, you have free ADSB weather in the plane. But uh, one of the things that I'm noticing at first, and, and I knew this, and one of the reasons I bought it, is that the Sirius XM, well, let's start back, the ADSB weather, uh, it comes from ground stations. And those ground stations are only, uh, like, guaranteed to be available over, I think, three or 4,000 feet. So first of all, you're not, you're not, uh, of a crapshoot to see if you're going to get that data while you're still on the ground. Um, that said, when you're on the ground, you have iPhones and iPads. So. But uh, even in the air, when you get that data, um, those ground stations only transmit the high resolution radar and I think METARs like within uh, a few hundred mile radius. So, what you'll uh, in high resolution, and then beyond that, it's like a lower resolution. So now that I have both, I can show both, and I will show you what we're seeing. And I'm going to show you the storm system that we got lucky and went, you know, 100 miles south of where we were in Iowa. So we had clear sailing. All right. So, anyways, uh, currently we can see uh, the G3X. You have. I'll go back to the beginning. So we are on the weather page, and if you hit menu. You can choose which data source feeds your weather page currently on SiriusXM. I'll, I'll kick it over to Fisby and show you the free version first. I'm showing the most detail. I'm not going to animate weather because eh, it's not part of this. So go back and number one eight eight Cedar Rapids Tower. You can see, I hope runway it shows up, is that uh, right we, we get this purple um, where we're not getting data from Fisby yet. Uh, we'll probably eventually get it. Um, you can also see that uh, the cell sizes are pretty kind of chunky. Um, if we were closer, it would be high resolution. But if you zoom out, so first of all, you see a lot of those purple uh, data missing chunks, you know, throughout the country. And again, if we zoom in like we want to lay, let's go look at, uh, you know, Wichita. Uh, we see that, you know, yeah, you can see it, and it's blocky, and, you know, at, at this distance, it's probably fine. Uh, the purple stuff kind of bothers me a little more, though. Uh, and the other thing is that this data is 25 minutes old, and that is a lifetime um, when you're talking about air data, uh, weather data. I will say that could potentially be because the system was watching Sirius XM before I switched it over, and it probably just hasn't gotten the latest, latest refresh. It's not normally that late, but uh, for comparison, if I switch the data source to Sirius XM, you can see, first of all, we have a lot higher resolution of our radar. Um, you know, we're zoomed way in here. I mean, that's just a single class Charlie, and you can see a lot of the details in that storm. Um, and also, we see it for the entire country. Uh, there's a few purple spots, but that's where literally they don't have radar coverage at all. So you will never, ever, ever get anything. But it's just kind of a helpful thing if you're navigating, you know, long cross countries to see a little bit of that data. And it's just, just a thing. Um, they've got storm cells and you can see the path of the storm cells. Although I believe uh, ADSB data just recently got that too. So. That's not a knock on. Oh, no. Oh, I'm on Storm Cells, not Next Rad, that's why. So, we've got Next Rad. Um, it would be kind of cool if you could overlay. Some of these have multiple oh, layers yeah. on at once. I, I haven't seen that yet. Um, let's see, Lightning. Maybe we could submit a recommendation. So, uh, Lightning at a distance might be kind of helpful. You know, as you're navigating cross country, hey, you know what? I want to give a wide berth to this Lightning here. 
And if I start deviating 200 miles out versus 50 miles out, you, know, you can kind of clear absorb that, and it's almost nothing. So, yeah, just uh, it's interesting. We see METARs for the entire country. Again, useful knowing you know if you have VFR weather as you're planning. Um, let's if I look at FISPI for that. Now you see we only see METARs for around us. I think that's the best example of kind of the difference is you see your regional data with uh, ADSB and you see nationwide coverage and, and this is you know these planes they're not insane fast but they're fast enough to to soak up the miles and you know single day cross country flying is a thing you can do you know, if you're willing to put in some hours and just useful data so there's a couple other things I want to show you just kind of give you an overview of kind of some of the data you can get on a G3X touch uh, with Sirius XM weather on route. So we've got, you know, the nationwide radar. We've got winds aloft. And when you're zoomed out this far, you get the kind of the, almost the isobar view. Um, you know, 12,000, 9,000, 6,000, 3,000. And you can see, you know, headwind for us, headwind for us, less headwind for us. About the same, so we're, we're at 85. We could go up to probably 10.5. I don't think it would make a big difference. Um, but yeah, this zoomed out, the isobars, this is really cool. We get temperatures aloft. Uh, again, 3,000 feet, 6,000 feet. Um, nationwide lightning. Storm cells in the country. Nationwide METARs. Um, I think you can click on any individual ones. Okay, CHS. Uh, as at 1456 Zulu, uh, winds 290 at 04, 10 statute miles viz, clear. So, sounds like a nice day down there. Um, you've got your nationwide air mets, you can click on each one. Got a turbulence air met there, we got turbulence, 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 IFR. Uh, SIG mets, so significant meteorological uh, stuff going on, probably thunderstorms. see here we've got TFRs nationwide TFRs this is cool also then we can zoom in and see like what's going on at this Texas Air Dallas Love Field has a TFR am I missing it temporary flight rules so there's one someone eight, who's important <laughs> by Dallas Love Field get info of it so it's flight restrictions up to 1500 feet they just want you to stay away like when the president's in town things like that so you got TFRs, we got nationwide PI reps. This is cool. Um, you can touch any of these, you know, the you got the symbols for turbulence, you got the symbols for, you know, smooth and sky clear, no turbulence, thanks to that 172 over uh, PHN. And I was just asking, is this kind of like Waze? Yeah, this is like, uh, this is the original Waze, you know, for pilots where... Pilot report. Instead of hitting the app, you just let ATC know, hey, it's looking good, you know, tire in the road. No tires. This is a cool one. Uh, freezing levels, nationwide freezing levels. So you know when when the weather's not good, uh, you can see, you know, how uh, at what altitudes you might potentially encounter ice. And interestingly enough, the lowest icing area right now is over California. Uh, yeah, for the entire country, it's over California. So that's kind of cool. Uh, got an icing forecast. This one is awesome. I'm really excited about this because ice scares me. Uh, so we got a 3,000 foot um, icing forecast. Obviously, it's May, so we're clear in the U.S. right now. Uh, but at 6,000 feet, we have icing potential in California. This is the icing forecast. So I would stay the hell away from there. Uh, can I click that? I don't know if I can click that. Yeah, light icing potential. Uh, super cooled liquid drops, I think it's SLD, that's that's the stuff that will kill you fast. So stay away from that stuff. Yeah, 9,000 feet, 12,000, oh. So we probably wouldn't have wanted to be at 12,000 back where we were. So this is a cool one. Uh, weather forecast, you get the, you know, kind of the nationwide highs, lows, um, fronts. Uh, and surface pressures, so isobars with pressures. And that's what we see. So that's that's what we get from Nextrad, and it's um, uh, Sirius XM. So it's very, very cool. Awesome. I'm really happy with that. You know, for 30 bucks a month, that's, I mean, 
it's another thirty dollars a month. Yeah, just to add on to a lot of those monthly charges and fees that there are with flying. But you you think about you know your situational awareness. Yeah. Of the, uh, did, I, did I use the correct term? Yeah. Um, it's a good safety thing, and it might not be no, very. It might not be worth it if you were just flying regionally, because ADSB has very good data. But uh, if, if you're going some cross long country. cross countries, man, I think 30 bucks a month, this, you can't beat this. So I just thought that might be kind of a useful thing for people to see, you know, a, a real life in in the air, 8,500, uh, real world comparison. So. Cool. Yep.